I'm KP, a marine biologist, and you're here for another Behavior Breakdown. For Mother's Day and for all the awesome moms out there, we're taking a closer look at some brand new footage in the field. Videos of baby humpbacks nursing with their mothers. This video was a part of a scientific study into the nursing behavior of humpback whales. And this footage is really important, and I'll just quote the researchers here when they say, Nursing behavior is difficult to study in wild cetaceans because it occurs below the surface and can thus be misidentified by scientific observations. That's why this footage is super unique and there's so many cool things about it that I don't even really know where to start. Okay, tagging expedition revealing the delicate nursing behavior of humpback whales. We used cats tags equipped with cameras and accelerometers to gain insights into their behavior. Okay, I think those are the suction cup tags which are really neat because they're just like non-invasive and they just eventually fall off. Yeah. Let's talk about this tag for a moment. This is a suction cup tag, relatively new technology. Five or 10 years ago, they would have needed a dart or something similar to a small harpoon with a camera attached to get this kind of footage. The suction cup method is far superior, far less invasive, just better all around for the animal. What's also cool, for me at least, is that I played a small role in the development of this technology. Several years ago, I was part of a team who did trial runs with this on dolphins under human care. We trained Pacific white-sided dolphins, like the one you see in this picture, to wear the suction cup tags and then to try to get them off using higher energy behaviors like porpoising or breaching. This helped the researchers to know exactly how strong to make those suction cups to where they will stay on for a reasonable amount of time, but the animals can easily shake them off. Now, I don't know if the exact suction cups that, that I worked on are a part of this particular video, but it's still really cool to see that the work that I was doing with animals under human care has a direct impact on their cousins out in the ocean. This is some unreal footage. And I love that they're getting to pair this with what was happening like from a drone, it looks like. It's crazy like how big they look and then you see them next to their mom and you're like, it's just massive animals. Allowing us to quantify the resting behavior of mothers and calves. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And this is cool because, um, you know, this is real life research, but um, what a lot of people won't realize about this is that without the help of animals in zoos and aquariums, um, this would have never been possible. So here's the nursing. This is so cool because, you know, these types of mammals have a, like have a very, have a lot of very interesting challenges put their way um, because they are mammals. Uh, so they do nurse from their mothers, and but how do you do that without chugging gallons of ocean water, um, which is not good for them, just like it's not good for us. And this brings me to one of my favorite facts about cetaceans, baby cetaceans in particular. Their tongues have frills, like you can see here in this picture of a false killer whale tongue. Those frills help them form a sort of seal that allows them to nurse underwater without drinking the salt water. Pretty cool, eh? This is so cool. Oh, there you can see like that white stuff. That's actually, that's the milk. Wow. <laughs> Gosh, their eyes are just so expressive. Yeah, they must have, I would love to have been a fly on the wall when the researchers were watching this footage for the first time, you know? I imagine lots of high fives. Um. Speaking of nursing, do you know how much milk a baby humpback whale drinks in a single day? Think about it. 
They can grow up to 50 or 60 feet long, and the babies grow about 100 pounds every single day. Wait, is that true? <laughs> it's quite right. Oh my god. They will double their size in six months, which means that a baby whale will drink about 150 gallons of milk every single day. Think about that, 150 gallons. Here's the crazy part. Mom actually isn't eating during the 3,000 mile migration from the breeding grounds to the feeding grounds. In fact, nursing mothers will lose about 30% of their body weight during that trip. Mothers will need to defend their calves from various predators like killer whales. And nursing doesn't stop once they reach their feeding grounds. The study that this video was a part of found that mothers are nursing while foraging as well. And that's why this study was so important. Going back to the study's abstract, which reads, nursing has been observed in humpback whales on the breeding and calving grounds, but the behavior remains unstudied on the feeding grounds. Groundbreaking videos like this not only increase our understanding of the relationship between mothers and calves, they help craft better measures to protect these animals. Because if we know how much energy it takes for these mothers to raise these calves, we can recommend fishing regulations to help them make sure they have enough food. If we know that they are still nursing while in the feeding grounds, we know that they need protection there as well so that that relationship is able to grow strong. Yeah, so then the tags have fallen off and they have to go retrieve them. Oh my gosh. Some of them traveled quite a ways. Awesome. Super cool stuff. Like, just things that you, Coming things up. that happen below the surface Left. of the ocean. Coming up right here. Oh. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> This video really shows off the incredible bond between a mother and a calf. Humpbacks really are some of the greatest moms out there, with the exception of my mom. What are some other great ocean moms that you can think of? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Cheers.